Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a meet the owner badge in Roblox Studio. Also, if you want to see more tutorial videos on Roblox development, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to Roblox, hit this create uh, button up here, and then go to the game that you want to add a badge for. So I could just go to like this game right here. And then on the left, there's a list of all the things you could go into. Scroll down to the bottom and it should say badges under engagement click on that and then you can create a badge from here so just hit create badge and then you have to put an image a name and yeah and you also want to get the asset id from that so that we can actually give it to the player okay so in, in roblox studio now we're just going to create a script under the server script service we can call this badge handler or something you can name it whatever okay so the first thing we want to get is the badge service so the badge service is how we're going to get, how we're going to give players the badges. So let's go game, get service, badge service. And then you also want to get the ID of your badge. So this is where you'll paste in the asset ID. I don't have one right now, so I'm just going to put this. But you just want to put your asset ID right there. And then you want to get the owner ID, which is uh, your player ID. So this is like... Whoever owns the game, you want this ID. So what you can do, so what you do to get this is you could just go to your profile. And then in the URL up here, you'll say roblox.com, you'll see roblox.com slash users. And then it'll do, it'll have a number after users. This is your, your user ID that you want to use right here. So you just want to put your user ID right there. And then we're going to create a, another variable, which is is in game. We'll set this to false and then we'll go game dot players dot player added connect function uh we'll have the player in here and then we'll see if player dot user id is the owner id so if the player is the owner then we want to set is in game equals true and then we're going to loop through all the players in the game right now and give them the badge or I comma V or, or or I comma player. Uh, we could just say yeah, player in game and bears game dot players get children or get players. Okay, well, and then this is where we use the badge service. We'll just go badge service award badge. We have to get the user ID of the player in game. So that user ID and then the badge ID. And then we're gonna go and do else if is in game equals true. So if someone joins and the owner is already in the game, then we just wanna give them the badge as well. So we can just copy this line to right here. Make sure that's a double equal sign. Oh yeah, this is just gonna be player.user ID. So the player that joined, we'll just put right there. Whenever the owner leaves, we want to get, we want to set the is in game to false again. So here we'll get the player again, and then we'll check if player user ID equals owner ID, then is in game equals false. And that is it for the script. So now. Um, for your game, whenever you join it, if it's your, yeah, if it's your game and if you join it, then it should give everyone in the game right there, the badge. Um, thank you guys for watching the video, uh, like and subscribe and tell me what other tutorial videos you'd like to see.